Good morning, Zion. This is morning prayer, right two for June twenty second, the Thursday after the third Sunday after Pentecost. And today we also remember Alban, first martyr of Britain. The psalm for today is Psalm eighty three, which begins on page seven oh six of the Book of Common Prayer. And the service begins on page eighty. Thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place and also with the one who has a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite. Lord, open thou our lips and our mouth shall proclaim thy praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. O oh God, do not be silent. Do not keep still, nor hold your peace, O oh God. For your enemies are in tumult, tumult, and those who hate you have lifted up their heads. They take secret counsel against your people and plot against those whom you protect. They have said, come, let us wipe them out from among the nations. Let the name of Israel be remembered no more. They have conspired together. They have made an alliance against you. The tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites, the Moabites and the Hagarines, Gebel and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines and those who dwell in Tyre. The Assyrians also have joined them and have come to help the people of Lot. Do to them as you did to Midian, to Sisera, and to Javan at the river of Kishon. They were destroyed at Endor. They became like dung upon the ground. Make their leaders like Oreb and Zeb, and all their commanders like Zeba and Zalmunna, who said, Let us take for ourselves the fields of God as our possession. O oh my God, make them like curling dust and like chaff before the wind, like fire that burns down a forest, like the flame that sets mountains ablaze. Drive them with your tempest and terrify them with your storm. Cover their faces with shame, O oh Lord, that they may seek your name. Let them be disgraced and terrified forever. Let them be put to confusion and perish. Let them know that you, whose name is Yahweh, you alone are the most high over all the earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. You that are Israelites, listen to what I have to say. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with deeds of power, wonders, and signs that God did through him among you, as you yourselves know. This man, handed over to you according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of those outside the law. But God raised him up, having freedom from death, because it was impossible for him to be held in its power. For David says concerning him, I saw the Lord always before me, for he is at my right hand, so that I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart was glad, and my tongue rejoiced. Moreover, my flesh will live in hope, for you will not abandon my soul to Hades, or let your Holy One experience corruption. You have made known to me the ways of life. You will make me full of gladness with your presence. Fellow Israelites, I may say to you, 
confidently of our ancestor David, that he both died and was buried, and his tomb is with us to this day. Since he was a prophet, he knew that God had sworn with an oath to him that he would put one of his descendants on his throne. Foreseeing this, David spoke of the resurrection of the Messiah, saying, He was not abandoned to Hades, nor did his flesh experience corruption. This Jesus God raised up, and of that all of us are witnesses. Being therefore exalted at the right hand of God, and having received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, he has poured out this that you both see and hear. For David did not ascend into the heavens, but he himself says, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Therefore, let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Messiah, this Jesus whom you crucified. Here ends the reading. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion and to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish that which I have proposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope and we shall never hope in vain. Keep, O Lord, your household, the church, in your steadfast faith and love, that through your grace we may proclaim your truth with boldness and minister your justice with compassion for the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, by whose grace and power your holy martyr Alvin triumphed over suffering and was faithful even unto death, grant us, who now remember him in thanksgiving, to be so faithful in our witnesses to you in this world that may we receive with him the crown of life. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for praying with me today, and I hope that the rest of your day is wonderful.